Hi everyone, um, this week I'm just going to do a, a nice simple um, block style dry fly. Um, just a very simple red arsed F fly. Um, doesn't sound a lot but you definitely need this thing in your box. Um, really really like it for sort of August, September time, when the, um, even October when the weather starts to cool off a bit. Fish are always on the surface that time of year. Um, and it's a really good sort of all-purpose general dry fly plan. Um, particularly like it on sort of your upstream, your your upland reservoirs, like your stocks, um, even like a Menteith in Scotland. This is is great for there. Had a lot of success in this in the past. Um, and local to us in the northeast, uh, sweet orb, thrunt in small still waters. Definitely one you should think about um, knocking a few up in a few different sizes. So let's see how we make this. The hook I've got is a um, short track special um, on a 14 or a 12. Um, like I say, I do a couple of different ones, um, different sizes. Smaller the fly um, is better for the smaller the wave. So if you've got a, a good ripple, try a bigger one to start with. You can always go down to a smaller one. Um, but, you know, let's give it a go. So, starting by catching um, some black ultra thread. Um, this is a size 70. The um, reason I'm using the 70 as opposed to the 140 is because I want a really, really nice, compact, thin body in here. And the, foot, uh, the foot, sorry, the 140, I think it'll just give me a bit too of a thick profile um, for this particular fly. I'm going to start off by pulling off a, a short length of gold right number 5 floss. Um, sort of, a, it's a ready orange colour, really good colour. Use this in a lot of flies. Um, as you can see, that chopped off, you know, not too big of a piece, probably about 8 to 10 inches. Um, and I'm just going to sort of double that over to create myself a slightly thicker bit of froth. Just moisten the end so the sort of fibres blend in together. Few turns and then wind back around the base of the, the hook. Get to a point where you're happy with. I like my sort of as so three or four mil around the point at which it's gone flat. And then take the, the back thread up to where you've sort of started to, to uh, catch the flossing. Then all we need to do. Just create yourself a little hot or spot section with that floss. Much easier if you do double the floss over like so. Um, you create that nice, nice flat profile. So we chop that off there, and using the tag end which we left from originally tying the floss in, wrap it down. Like so, create a nice flat body. Now you could just leave it like a flat body, like we have there, just in the thread. Um, but this occasion, I'm going to add a slightly, slight bit of dubbing um, just to create a bit more of a, a natural insect -y sort of appearance. A couple of those little dubbing fibers might just um, go through the surface filled with the water, um, give the impression of legs. So um, it's probably better to have them in than not on a fly like this. Uh, it's just a black. Black Dublin got a bit of UV blend in there. Um, going to take a very, very small pinch off. We don't want a massive thick rope. Um, I'm just going to do a very, very thin sort of dub. This stuff's really, really soft and pliable. It's great for dubbing onto uh, thread very easily. Don't tend to use wax. Um, just take a little bit of tension off the thread um, so it's not reliant on the bobbin holder adding all the pressure. Just take the tension off, like I say, a um, bit of moisture on the fingers, dub it really tight with the finger. So semi-tension on the thread, max tension on your fingers, and you'll find that dubs it really, really nice. Little dub up there. So once we're happy with that, slide that up to the body, and then touch and turns, can wind that up towards 
the eye of the hook. I'm going to leave myself a couple of mil where we can put the, uh, put the legs in and put the wing in. So next on the list um, is just a couple of legs. Just going to um, chop off a bit of dyed black um, pheasant tail here. I'm going to take four legs, four fibers, split them into groups uh, of two, like so. So, two groups of two, and so off them up is sort of a sword type effect. And it might just take a slight bit of work to get them to sit how you want. But at this stage, just be patient. Um, it doesn't have to be completely uniform. You know, sometimes the uh, the most ununiformed looking flies are the best. So, like I say, just take the time. Once we've got it happy, I'm going to come in there and chop the uh, the front end off. Just a slight bit of tidying up needs to be done. And then once that's all tidied up, I'm going to go in with the scissors again and take the legs to about 5mm past the, um, the end of the shank of the hook. Like so. so we've got sort of a got legs there, you know, not too many, just to just to give the impression of a bit more of a natural natural looking being. To finish the fly off, got um, some CDC feathers here. Now this time I've gone with three feathers. Um, it's a slightly bigger fly. Um, this is going to be fished in a, a slightly bigger wave. So two feathers just might not pack it to be honest. So I'm going to go with three um, just to give myself a bit more self-confidence more than anything else. Um, that I can tie this fly on and uh, not have to worry about it sinking every cast. So I'm just going to manoeuvre those feathers back and forward so that I've got myself a nice flat profile and then offer them up coming in line with where we've um, cut our black legs off. Come in with a pinch and loop. One, two, three, just to make sure it's nice and secure. Come in with the scissors and I'm going to cut up rather than down, which lessens the risk of making the thread. You might get a little bit of a stub there, but don't worry about that. You can come in with the thread and neaten that up nice, nicely. Few whip finish. Make sure it's nice and secure. Come in with the scissors, chop it off. Now, if you can see there, that that red, that arse, that red arse at the back, that'll be sitting sort of actually in the surface film. Um, so it'll also sort of cover a, a, an ugly and sedge, so to speak, as well. So you've got a nice black body, black legs, CDC wing, nice profile, um, an ugly type sack at the back. So yeah, this this fly covers more than one um, eventuality. Uh, fishing on the point of a team of two or three flies, I'd recommend. Um, and the, yeah, get a few tied up, put a few in your box, and you'd be a bit surprised at the um, how how devastated a simple little left fly can be.